Hey guys, welcome to Cloud Tech. In this video, I'm going to solve a problem which was asked in Infosys interview. The candidate had more than 4.5 years of experience working as a Java developer. And apart from Java, he was having knowledge about data structures and algorithms and few frameworks like Spring Boot, REST APIs and Hibernate. And when he solved the problem, he was offered a CTC of 13 LPA. Now let me explain what was the problem statement and how we solved it. So the problem statement was he was asked to write a Java program to check for balanced parenthesis expression or balanced parenthesis set. Okay, now let me explain you what is a balanced parenthesis. Okay, so a balanced parenthesis set is a set of parenthesis that contains an equal number of opening and closing parenthesis. And each closing parenthesis corresponds to the most recent unmatched opening parenthesis. Okay, so balanced set of parentheses is, is a set of parentheses that contains equal number of opening and closing parentheses and each closing parenthesis corresponds to the most recent unmatched opening parentheses. For example, if you see this expression, in this expression, I can see one, two and three opening parentheses and for each opening parenthesis, there is a closing parenthesis okay so i can say that this expression is a balanced parenthesis expression or it is a set of parenthesis which is a balanced parenthesis if you see another input and here i can see there are three opening parenthesis but we have only two closing parenthesis so I can say that this is not a balanced parenthesis. So you should have equal number of opening and closing parenthesis. And the next thing is that it should have corresponding matching order. So for each opening parenthesis, there should be a closing parenthesis. Okay. Now to achieve this, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a stack data structure. Okay, so if you guys have idea about it, then it is good. If you guys don't have idea about it, I would suggest that at least visit once the stack data structure and try to understand the push and whoop operations. Okay, so push operation on stack is basically it pushes an element into a stack at the top and pop operation basically removes the element which is at the top. Okay, so how to achieve this by using a stack? What I'm going to do whenever I encounter an opening bracket, I will push that opening bracket into the stack. And then if I encounter a closing bracket, then I will check whether the stack contains a corresponding opening bracket at the top, which is matching to the closing bracket and if I found yes that is containing the pair which we need like opening bracket and a closing bracket then I will simply remove that closing bracket from the top of this stack. okay to achieve this let me show you how to this how to do this by writing the code so here you can see I have written a class and this class is going to be a balanced parenthesis. And inside that, I have written a main method which is going to be starting point for our program execution. Now, what I will do, I will write a string which will be our input string which we are going to check. So, string s equal to what I will do, I will simply take the string which is there in the input. So, for first attempt, I will take this balanced string. Okay. And now I will write a function which will be used to check whether the given string is balanced or not. So for that, what I will do, I will write a function public static and is balanced public static. I'll write a data type which will be written whether it is uh, balanced or not. Okay, so public static boolean is balanced parenthesis. And for this, I'm going to pass the input string, which we have taken. Okay. Now, just to get rid of this compilation error, what I will do, I will return. 
Okay. Now here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start iterating over the given string. Before that, what I will do, I will create a variable of type stack and this stack will be of type characters. So let me first import the stack from java.util and this stack is going to store the characters. So I'm going to make it a stack of character type and I will give it a name as a stack. Okay, so stack of character is equal to new stack and it is going to be java.util.stack. Okay, now we got the stack and then what I will do, I will start iterating over the string and check the characters. For that, I'm going to write a for loop. For integer i is equal to zero, I should be less than s dot length and i plus plus. Now, while iterating over this string, I'm going to check what is the character. Okay, so for that, I'm going to take the character into a variable character s is equal character c is equal to s dot character at the index and the index is going to be i. Okay, so here I will get the character which is iterating. Okay, now what I will do, I will check whether the character is opening bracket or not. So here I'm going to check if c is equal equal to the opening parenthesis or c is equal equal to curly bracket or c is equal equal to square bracket if i found that this is a opening bracket or a parenthesis or a curly bracket then I will simply put this into this stack. So stack dot push and I'm going to push the character which is going to be C. Now I have pushed the character on stack. If the character is not opening bracket then I need to check whether the character is closing bracket. For that I'm going to write a condition else if C is equal equal to if it is a closing parenthesis or c is equal equal to curly bracket or c is equal equal to a square bracket closing square bracket if i found that yes it is a closing bracket then what i need to do i need to check the character at the top okay for that before that what i will do i will check whether the stack is empty or not if stack is empty, then I will say that the expression is not a balanced. So I will simply return the false. So here, first thing what I will check is, I will check if stack is empty. If the stack is empty, then I will say, or I will return false because this is not going to be a balanced expression. Then what I will do, if the stack is not empty, then I will take the character which is at the top of the stack. So for that, I'm going to use stack dot top method. Okay, uh, sorry, stack dot pop method. So this pop method is going to remove the top element from the stack and that will be stored into this top. Now here I need to check if the character is a closing character and top is a opening bracket. Okay. Or if the character is a closing parenthesis and then top should be opening parenthesis. Or similarly, if the character is a opening square bracket and the top should be a closing square bracket. If I found that, then I should check the next character otherwise if i don't find then what i will do i will simply return the false so here i'm going to check if the character is equal equal to the opening bracket opening parenthesis and at the same time i should have top as a closing bracket 
because it should correspond to the opening bracket. Or I'm going to check. So here I will write this condition into one bracket. Okay, and here I will check. Or C is equal equal to the closing curly bracket. And at the same time, top should have the opening curly bracket. Or this character is equal equal to closing square bracket and at the same time top should have the closing curly bracket so for that i'm going to check top is equal equal to closing square bracket okay and if this condition satisfies that means i'm going to check the next character in the string okay and if i don't find this condition as a satisfied then i'm going to simply return the false so here i think i have missed something that's why i'm getting some error so here first will be this set then second set i have not included into the brackets that's why it is giving me some error and then in third set I'm including it into bracket and then if I don't find anything from this then what I will do I will simply return the false okay so here I will return false okay so here what I'm going to do I'm going to check whether the character is a closing bracket and at the same time the top should be opening bracket or character should be a closing curly bracket otherwise and top should be opening bracket or the character should be a closing square bracket and the top should be opening square bracket if i found this then only i will proceed and check for the next character and if this conditions any of this condition fails then i'm going to return it as a false okay and at the end, instead of returning this, what I'm going to check whether this stack is empty. If the stack is empty, then I will return the value which is available. Okay, now here, let me explain you what I did. So here, first I created a stack variable to store the characters. Then I started iterating over the string by using follow. And while iterating over the string, I took the character at the string at i position into one of the variable and then I'm checking this character if the character is opening parenthesis or it is uh, opening curly bracket or if it is opening square bracket. If I found that this is going to be opening character or opening parenthesis then I'm going to simply put that into or push that into stack. Otherwise, I'm going to check if the character is a closing character or closing parenthesis. If it is a closing parenthesis, then what I will do, I will check if the stack is empty. If the stack is empty, then I will simply return false. Otherwise, I'm going to take the character which is at the top of the stack and I'm going to compare this character with the top character. Okay, so this character will be compared with the top character and if i found that the top character is a matching opposite parenthesis then i will continue if i don't find a matching opposite parenthesis then i will simply return false okay so i'm done with this is balance function and now i will call that is balance function so here i will check if is balanced and i will pass this string so if this returns true, then what I will do, I will write a message C sharp saying that S is balanced parenthesis. Okay, else I will say that S is not a balanced, not balanced parenthesis expression. 
Okay. Now let me run this code and show you the output. Okay. So right click and run as Java application. So here you can see this thing is a balanced parenthesis expression. Now what I will do, I will remove one parenthesis and see what happens. Right click run as Java application and you can see it is not a balanced parenthesis expression. Okay guys, so that's it from this video. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.